Hey, what is up guys? It is me, Flavio, here back with another Mafia City video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about roadsters. So, let's get started. I like classifying roadsters into six different categories. There are tournament roadsters, turf attack roadsters, turf defense roadsters, training roadsters, resource production roadsters, and limited edition roadsters. Let's start off by talking about the resource production roadsters. There are three roadsters in this category, Bullet, Mr. Freeze, and Tidal Wave. These roadsters are only good for your farm accounts since they give resource production buffs. You should aim to get Tidal Wave on all your farm accounts since it gives a 40% resource production buff to each farm. Since you can get 280 roadster points for free from the real estate event, you should be able to unlock Tidal Wave on all your farms in around 31 days. The next category is the training roadsters. The roadsters in this category include Big Daddy, Draco, Sonic, Blue Devil, Mad Max, Death Row, Queen, and God Slayer. All these roadsters help you increase your training speed. Blue Devil is a special type of roadster that also gives you double rewards for attacking street forces which makes it easier to grind street forces. Out of the remaining ones, Mad Max is the best roadster for training tier 7 or lower troops giving you a total of 52% training speed for tier 7 or lower level troops. Death Row is the best roadster for training tier 8 troops giving a total of 39% tier 8 troop training speed. And God Slayer is the best roadster for training tier 9 and tier 10 troops giving 35% tier 9 training speed and 29% tier 10 training speed. So, if you want to train tier 8 or lower troops for whatever reason, then you should consider using Death Row or Mad Max over Queen and God Slayer. The next category is the Limited Edition Roadsters. Usually, after buying a roadster, you can sell its parts to get back the roadster points you spend. However, when it comes to the Limited Edition Roadsters, you're not allowed to sell their parts after buying them, so you'd want to invest in these roadsters with a lot of caution. Out of all the limited edition roadsters, Moonlight Rider, Frostbite, and Nightmare are a waste of roadster points in my opinion. Cherry Bomb gives you the plus one range stat, but I have absolutely no idea how that stat helps, so I can't tell you if it's good or not. Sirius Black is a good roadster for getting two minute rage, which is extremely useful for cross server events like Governor and Conqueror's Path. It also increases your raid capacity by 100,000, but only when attacking turfs. And finally, Killer X is a Clash of Mafia roadster that gives you extra buffs for Clash of Mafia and also 10 times the killing points. Then we have Turf Defense Roadsters. These are the roadsters that you should be usually using when defending your turf against enemy attacks. There are only 4 roadsters in this category, DeLorean, Lady Silver, Diamond Daisy, and Night Ripper. Out of these four, DeLorean and Night Ripper could also be used as tournament roadsters as they're pretty strong even without the turf defense buff. The fifth category is the turf attack roadsters. These roadsters are good while attacking other players' turfs. They include Whirlwind, Silent Walker, Phoenix, Death Rex, and Death Hornet. Out of these, Silent Walker is a pretty solid tournament roadster as well because of its 10% biker charge damage buff. I've also seen some top players use Death Hornet in the tournament, however, I'm not sure if it actually helps since most of its buffs only apply during solo turf attacks which technically means that those buffs shouldn't apply during tournament battles and during raids. And finally, the final category is the tournament roadsters. You'd want to start off by aiming for the knight. It should be easy to get the knight in around a month with the roadster points that you get daily from the real estate event. After unlocking the knight, you'd want to go for a DeLorean followed by Ignite, which is a better tournament roadster. After Ignite, you'd want to jump straight to Black Sally as Cruise and Cannery isn't a good tournament roadster. Cruise and Cannery and Tweety Bird are both speed roadsters and should only be used while attacking mercenaries. After Black Sally, you'd want to use Black Hector followed by White Stallion, Blue Stars, Silent Walker, Night Ripper, Duke Van Helsing, Harley Queen, Stormbreaker, White Devil, Twilight Blade, Slingshot, and finally Hellfire. Poison Ivy isn't that important to unlock as it beats Hellfire only in Conqueror's Path. Hellfire is way better than Poison Ivy in all the other events. So that's all I had to talk about Roadsters in this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.